That applause was for Naya Atkins getting released after two months in a Newark hospital following a life saving heart transplant. We told you her story earlier this week after she suffered that heart attack just days after giving birth to her son Joseph last February. Well, she spent the first year of his life in and out of the hospital fighting for her own life and now she's back home with her family. Oh, so, so, so incredibly happy for her and that reunion. Yeah. Just beautiful. Yes. Um, heart disease is the leading cause of death in women in the United States and today is Go Red for Women, an event to raise awareness about heart disease and risk factors affecting millions of women and families. Um, and today we have Dr. Anu Lala with us. Uh, she is a cardiologist at Mount Sinai Hospital. Um, Dr. Lala, thank you, first of all, for being with us. We appreciate it. Such an important conversation. My pleasure to be here. Of course. Um, you know, um, Dr. Lala, when we say number one killer of women, and I feel like we've been saying it year after year, uh, and it affects, it impacts so many different women. It doesn't matter the color of their skin. It, it, it's just across the board. Why is this something that we continue to have an issue with, especially when it's preventable? Yeah, I think, you know, it's such an important day uh, in general. As you mentioned, cardiovascular disease does kill more women than all forms of cancer. We typically think of breast cancer, for example, being the number one threat to women, and that's not the case. And despite it being the number one killer, only about 40, 45% of women actually recognize that cardiovascular disease is their greatest health threat. So I think that's the key, right, is that there's the awareness is so important. And that's why Go Red for Women is such an important event. It was launched in 2004. After, this is 40 years after Lyndon Johnson declared February as Heart Month mainly for this purpose, to raise awareness for us to recognize that cardiovascular disease is our greatest threat. And that, you know, there's multiple things that go into that. It's need for being more active. It's the need for eating right, sleeping right, watching blood pressure, cholesterol. Right. So days like today, you know, it helps with the awareness, but also the medical advancements obviously help. And I know Mountain Sinai specifically got a grant, a large portion of funding that's specifically for women and underrepresented communities when it comes to coronary disease. Uh, I might not be getting all those facts right, but are, are grants like that just key to making sure that the numbers in general can be reduced? Yeah, you're, you're, I could go on and on. You can see that. <laughs> but I think that's exactly right. I mean, it's it's raising awareness and raising awareness for the purposes of, of, of advocacy. And advocacy means funding life-saving research that really educates women across the U.S. and worldwide. Um, so it's, it's committed to raising awareness, discovery, and mitigating disparities in care. What is one thing that we could say to women who may be watching this program right now, um, women who might be afraid to start taking that statin because this is a life, you know, a lifetime drug? What can we say to them to reassure them that they that the care that they need they should get? Yeah, thanks so much for that. I think it may sound trite, but we have to recognize that cardiovascular disease is our number one threat as women, and we are. It's not. No one is immune. Right. And so that awareness in and of itself is important. Take the time to tune in with your body. Recognize if you're having symptoms that don't feel right and don't hesitate to seek uh, medical care or medical attention just to make sure. Um, so I think uh, really awareness is key. Checking in with ourselves and and not being afraid to ask for help and reassurance. Thank you so much, Dr. Lala, for uh, spending some time with us. So really appreciate your insight and Thank you. helping to raise awareness.